Let's reopen one of the most hotly discussed topics, the face masks. An order from Governor Polis requires essential workers wear them if they're going to be close to fellow workers or customers. A few cities now require everyone to wear them in public places. And Denver will be next. Aspen, Glenwood Springs, Summit County, Boulder, and Wheat Ridge currently have face covering mandates in place. And Mayor Hancock tweeted out today the residents of Denver will have to get used to wearing masks for the foreseeable future. You can expect specific information in the coming days. Well, CBS 4's Karen Morford in Wheat Ridge tonight. Karen, we do hear from a lot of people asking, can we really be forced to wear the masks? It is a big question that we're getting, Jim, and each city is a little different. Here in Wheat Ridge, they are requiring masks inside essential businesses, but other cities are saying in any public space, and really, after talking with the ACLU today, it doesn't matter what it says as long as it has, it's done with public health and safety in mind. While stay-at-home restrictions may be easing up, more local officials are turning to masks to maintain public health. The city of Wheat Ridge among the first. City Council unanimously passed a resolution last Monday ordering face coverings when entering critical businesses. The city of Denver also planning to require masks. Denise Maez is the policy director for the ACLU of Colorado. She says the new rules will be implemented much like the stay-at-home orders. A lot of people don't want to be told what to do, and certainly by the government, and certainly the ACLU is very much in support, typically. I think for now, however, it is founded in public health. With that in mind, she says how they will be enforced is critical. We have to be careful of that, and I certainly don't want to create another law that puts people in jail or finds people some enormous amount of money. So I hope there is careful, careful, careful enforcement. Boulder Mayor Sam Weaver talked about their plans to ensure community compliance after passing their own requirements. Our hope is to be collaborative with our business community, um, use education first, and any enforcement would probably be um, complaint-based. Maya says it's something they will be watching closely. Making sure that it's still is properly connected to a good governmental purpose, which for now is at least public health and safety. Now we do know some of those resolutions do include fines if necessary. The state and Wheat Ridge, we also know, have excluded those with health conditions from that requirement. For now, we're live in Wheat Ridge. Karen Morford covering Colorado First. All right, Karen, thank you.